Hey, Jim Hoffman here for EMS Office Hours. This is your Monday Minutes. And today is uh, talk a little bit about the trauma end of EMS. And specifically, we talk a little bit about a hemothorax. And, you know, I'm not going to go too much into uh, uh, you know, the types of trauma that will cause it and, and things like that. But, uh, you know, what it is is when blood collects in the pleural space, and you get a significant amount of loss of blood and the patient will be uh, hypotensive. But for us, things you've got to sort of keep in, the, in, in your mind is other issues that can arise from it. Things like the hypotension, the blood loss, uh, how it can become a tension, pneumothorax, um, the breathing issues for the patient, right? So while this is something that's happening, okay, to um, you know the patient, the other co other things that might be cropping up because of it, okay, are also at just as critical, and that's what you have to also keep in mind when you're uh, dealing with these types of patients. So again, blood loss, right? It's in the pleural space, and think about it: how much blood it can be. Now, if you look here, right. Each side can hold about two, two, uh, uh, 3,000 3, cc's of blood, right? 2,500 to 3,000 cc's of blood. That is a significant amount of blood to, that the patient can lose that you're not going to see because it's in the pleural space. It's not bleeding out. It's bleeding inside of the patient. And blood can be coming from your intercostal vessels, your pulmonary vessels, the lung itself, okay? And like I mentioned, you can, it's gonna, it can lead to that tension pneumothorax as well okay so this is all the things you've got to sort of think about where the blood's coming from you know and this types of injury can be from um you know uh, 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 stab wounds gunshot wounds uh you know patients hitting a steering wheel uh you know things like that that can cause these types of of, of injuries right but besides the causes of the injury you've got to also think about what's happening okay so think about this type of blunt trauma uh, the trauma to the patient that's going to cause this type of bleeding that's going to be fairly significant in order for the, this type of bleeding to go on, okay? Now, the signs and symptoms you're going to see, again, you know, this is a, a more related to that blood loss, right? The hypotension um, than it is really to the lung collapsing, okay? The lung isn't really damaged. It's the vessels inside and around the lung that are becoming damaged, okay? The patient is going to be uh, breathing very rapidly, Going to be anxiety, going to be very anxious, um, and when you listen to the lung sounds, you're going to have those diminished uh, lung sounds going on, okay? And you're going to have that hyperresonance going on as well. And look again for those signs and symptoms of shock, okay? You got the, the hypotension, okay? Uh, tachycardia, cool, pale, diaphoretic, all the things that you're going to see uh, for shock, okay? Because this is the blood loss that is going on. All right. Now, treatment for us in the field, not much we're going to really do for a hemothorax in and of itself, right? But we can treat the other injuries that might crop up. If we do see blood loss, we can stop. Um, if we do have that tension pneumothorax, that we can do a needle decompression, right? But primarily, it's going to be rapid transport, oxygen, assisting ventilations if the patient needs it, IV and EKG. That's pretty much what we're going to be doing for these types of patients. Of course, your individual protocol might have uh, some additional interventions you can do or maybe not want you to do some other interventions. So just keep all that in mind. Um, you've got to treat the patient according to your local guideline. But this is the basic sort of um, uh, uh, run of what you're going to do for this type of a patient. Okay, so guys, um, that's really it. I'm not going to get, again, not too much into it. This is a Monday Minute, so I just try to kind of pull out a little nugget of, uh, of a topic here to quickly go over. But again, think back to what I mentioned early on in this episode, okay, about the other things that you need to look out for, okay, when you get a mechanism of injury and that might cause this type of injury to go on, the hemothorax to go on, and what might be related to it, okay? All the things that I mentioned, the hemo, the, the tension neuron might develop, the, the hypotension, the, the shock, the uh, uh, diminished lung sounds, all the things that you're going to have to try to address, okay? Because you can't really address the blood that's filling up 
in the plural space, okay? We don't do chest tubes in a field. There might be some, uh, you know, uh, EMS systems that might do chest, chest tubes in the field, but not that many do, so we're kind of limited when it comes to getting that blood out, right? So we've got to try to treat all the other things that might be going on because of this hemothorax, okay? So I hope this can help you guys. If you want some other information and some some other ways to really build your knowledge base on things like the hemothorax and everything that goes around with this type of an injury, uh, go check out Turbomatic. Uh, in addition to a lot of the medical uh, issues there and testing um, aids that are there, there's also information there on trauma as well, anatomy and physiology, all to help you pass exams and master your skills as an EMS provider. Okay, so go check it out. See how you can put Terramedic to work for you. Click this Join Now button and see what it's all about. You can become a premium member or you can even join as a free member. So go check that out and maybe I'll see you on the inside there. So until then, guys, until next time, as always, this is Jim Hoffman for EMS Office Hours. Stay safe.